Hey, what's up, people? This is Sif Urian, and right now we're going to be jumping into episode six, part six of Ahsoka. <sighs> Hands down, the last episode is my favorite. Like, no joke, the last episode was absolutely amazing. Seeing Anakin and Ahsoka come face to face, interact, and do battle was just absolutely amazing. But it's something I've been saying for a while now, you know, that I, I can see them doing some type of flashback some type of interaction with Anakin because now that Ahsoka is a master herself we have to kind of go back to when she was a apprentice look like there's some something that she has to like remember that she was taught that she has to pass on to Sabine there's some type of lesson that she has to learn from her old master and we basically got that plus I gotta say that the young Ahsoka like the actress killed it absolutely killed it even with the lightsabers she seems so natural just moving so flawlessly you know i think they could definitely do like a live action like clone wars era kind of show you know maybe i think it would be kind of cool to introduce new characters like some new jedi and seeing them survive order 66 and you know everything and from that like you could have younger soka turn up you know you could have I don't know, even have Anakin and Obi-Wan, even Yoda, like you could have all these characters in this live action show. I don't know, I, I just think it would be really cool and the possibilities are kind of endless. But yeah, so now with the show, uh, Ahsoka and Hu Yang has, has gone inside of the mouth of a, a Purgle and they're off to a new galaxy. Hopefully the one that actually has Ezra in. Just crazy to think that we're going to be going to a new galaxy, new planets, new species, new everything you know i'm just really pumped for this episode man um so yeah we're gonna get into this if you're interested in watching the full lengths links are gonna be all down below plus early access i think there's only two episodes left so by the time you watch this on youtube they should both be up on my patreon right now but for now episode six <sighs> let's do this man intergalactic travel within a star whale now i really have done it all I remember them from the stories you would tell us. Stories in my archive memory. Would you like to hear one? Oh. Not right now. Perhaps you have a story for me. Yeah. There's something I didn't tell her about Sabine. She went with the enemy willingly. Impossible. I saw it through the force when I held the map. Well, that is troubling. She could have ended this. No throne. Yeah. No war. And no Ezra. She was fated to make that choice. There wasn't enough time to prepare her to make the right one. The Force provides you with insight, but it does not give one all the answers. Meaning? Perhaps for Sabine, it was the only choice. Mm. Gave into her feelings. A choice she made for herself. That is your fear. And second thought, tell me one of those stories. Very well. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Wow. <laughs> that was cool. The prisoner is impatient. You still mean to follow through on your promise to her? The focus to find Ezra Bridger blinds her. I believe she can still be of some use to us. Like I said, I'm really like in intrigued with the future for Sabine and how they're going to play her character. New galaxy. That is Peridia, the ancient homeworld of my ancestors, the Dathomiri. The Jedi Archive spoke of this place. It was the end of the migration route used by the Star Whales as they traversed the void from one galaxy to the other. My people were among the first to harness and ride the creatures in the days before time was counted. The whales came here to die. Peridia is a graveyard. What? Wow, okay, so, th so that ring is like an elephant graveyard. It's 
Wow, okay. Herbal graveyard. That's a pretty cool looking ship design. There's definitely like unresolved beef there, edit. Welcome, child of Dathomir. You do our ancestors credit. You heard our call to you in the dream. More witches. Long have we waited for you. And you came as Thrawn promised. Where is Thrawn? You shall wait. It reeks of Jedi. Ooh. Oh, him. I guess they are talking about her. It will wait in solitude. I wonder if we're going to actually see Thorn in this episode. What is it, Master? This is a land of dreams and madness. Children's stories come to life. You weren't raised at the temple. Stories of this galaxy are considered folk tales, long forgotten. With good reason. Sometimes stories are just stories. <laughs> when I was a bit older than you are now, I watched everything I knew burn. The Jedi Temple? Couldn't make sense of it at the time. As you get older, you realize it's all inevitable. The fall of the Jedi, rise of the Empire. It repeats again and again. And isn't it our turn now? Won't our alliance with Thrawn finally bring us into power? That sort of power is fleeting. What I seek is the beginning. So I may finally bring this cycle to an end. And that beginning is here. If the old stories are true. I'm so intrigued with him, man. Fucking both of them. I just so like, I want to know more about them. How did they meet? Look, you know, how did he survive Order 66? You know, everything. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not her. <laughs> I thought... I. Okay, maybe it's something to do with this galaxy. Maybe it's just amplified her powers. Or potential powers, you know? But, okay. Holy oh, shit. What? So we definitely going to be seeing Thorn this episode. <laughs> oh shit. What in okay. What in the hell, man? They all look so badass. <laughs> Wow. What was first just a dream has become a frightening reality for those who may oppose us. 
This is Enoch, captain of my guard. He shall begin the cargo transfer as per my agreement with the Great Mothers. I have seen the catacombs. It will take some time. They have brought a prisoner. I brought the prisoner. I felt she could be of some use to us. Elen Skull? And his apprentice, Shin Hati. Then you must be General Balen Skull. Of the Jedi Order. I parted ways with the Jedi long ago. You would not be the first. The prisoner is Sabine Wren. Now there's a familiar name. Oh my god! It's just... I'm like a few chapters into the uh, Thrawn book. This guy's a threat, he's a problem, man. You shall have provisions, amounts, and our latest intel on Bridget's whereabouts. So that's it? You're just gonna let me walk out of here? You helped my cause. Now I shall help yours. You should know, though, that once my starship departs, you'll be stranded here forever. I'd rather not waste any more time. What kind of ride you got around here? God, he looks so good, though. Oh my god. They all do, like, like the stormtroopers just look so slick. All battle-worn and damaged with the red straps around them as well and the gold parts just... Be warned. Nomads wander this wasteland and prey upon each other for survival. Here are your weapons. Die well. Die well. <laughs> I hope we see him in action, man. Like, throwing down and really, like, tearing shit up. And I kind of hope, like, that character carries on beyond this show. I don't want him to be like, yeah, he's a badass and Ahsoka cuts him down. You know what I mean? <laughs> he just looks so good. Keep him around. Sabine Wren will have the opportunity of finding Ezra Bridger, just as promised. And if she does, you and your master will destroy them both. Wow, okay. Because of course he would want some type of payback on, on Ezra for bringing him here and everything, so. It's a rock. You're embarrassing yourself. Hey! What? Okay, yeah, that trick's over. Get up, come on, I can see you there. Okay, like I said at the start, new new galaxy, new planet, new species, new things. Oh, he's got a little outfit on. <laughs> Jesus. Just relax over there. This? You like this? What? How is that possible? Ezra, do, do you do you know Ezra? I was thinking like how many more of those stones are like more of them. <laughs> do you know Ezra Bridger? He, he's my friend. Ezra Bridger. Yes. Do you know the one she seeks so desperately? Bridget? No, he's too young. Comes from a breed of Bokin Jedi trained in the wild after the temple fell. Like me? No, he was trained as a Jedi. You, I trained to be something more. See, like I said, I want to know more about these two. Only way they could do it now is, is like an animated series. Now, of course, with Ray passing away. Do you miss it? The Order? I miss the idea of it. But not the truth. The weakness. There was no future there. Can you clearly see one here, in this wasteland? I see what once was the great witch kingdom of the Dathmiri. The existence of the Great Mothers confirms this. Hmm. 
They seem eager to leave this place. Maybe we should too. Perhaps they flee a power greater than their own. Something calls to me. Can't you hear it? Something stirs here. Yeah, either do um, an animated show or they're going to have to recast, but then it's going to be so hard because he's made, he's, he's made this character. Such a shame he passed away, man. Either they, they recast and they do like a younger version, telling more of like the backstory, or they just go straight like uh, animated. Or even better, a video game. We're gonna see him, aren't we? We're gonna see Ezra and Thrawn in the same episode. I knew I could count on you. Oh shit. Though, it sure took you long enough. Well, you didn't exactly tell any of us where you were going. That's because I didn't know where I was going. Typical. Always a plan. Never a good one. Hey, it worked, didn't it? It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Really good casting as well. I see my friends found you. Yeah, your very own band of rebels. <laughs> I have so many questions. You're riding a hound. How'd that happen? In fact, how did you find me? <laughs> how did you get here? <sighs> Let's not talk about that. Not right now. Still gonna have to tell him everything. Thanks for coming. I can't wait to go home. And the only way home is to go back to Thorn. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, even without the whole thing, oh, well, well, we'll kill him. I don't think Ezra would be willing to go back and let Thorn go back. You know? The thread of fate has spoken to us. Another comes. A Jedi. They ride the travelers. But that is unwelcome news. Could it be the recently deceased Sokatana? Impossible. Elin assured me of her death. And yet, he was once a Jedi. So, nah. we must regard him as flawed. No, we shall consider Sokatana alive until we know otherwise. And we shall prepare accordingly. I want to know her background, history, home world, her master, everything. Yes, Grand Admiral. If a star whale approaches Peridia, destroy it with prejudice. Great mothers, I shall once again require the aid of your dark magic. The thread of destiny demands it, Grand Admiral. Oh my god. Don't end. <laughs> God damn it! You know, I can see episode seven basically being like the confrontation, Ahsoka coming to the planet. There'll be a battle actually on the planet. I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to think about it, and it's like I can't, I can't think how they would do it. Like, are they going to have episode seven being a battle on this planet, and then episode eight is Thrawn going back, and as he goes back, he probably comes up to like a a like complete barricade of the new republic you know what i mean just, just like a whole entire line of like new republic ships waiting for them and that's where you could have zeb you know because i'm qu quite shocked i'm quite shocked that we've not seen him so far uh so to have him in the finale it's like a proper reunion everyone's back so are they going to do it that way or are we just going to spend the next two episodes on this planet and 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 this season's going to end with the cliffhanger of thrawn going back as far as Balin and Shin, like I've said like a few times, I'm really intrigued with their characters. And I think it's because we don't know much about them is what makes them really intriguing. And the way that um, Ray Stevenson is, is playing Balin, it's just so damn cool. He, he has just such a presence. 
You know, that's why I think, like, recasting him is going to be hard. And like I said, I, I think the only way that they could do it is to cast a, a younger actor and then have, like, a prequel kind of thing. Or they're going to have to do, like, an animated show. They're going to try and expand on, on who these characters are. How did he come across her? How did he begin her training? And, and their whole backstory. But then I don't know if they're planned for season two. You know? I'm just so intrigued with them too. And and the way that Shin looks at him sometimes, at first I said it was kind of like she 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 seemed like she wanted like reassurance, like being the apprentice. She's still kind of like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just following my master's lead. But I don't know, just sometimes I get this feeling like she's she doesn't agree with him. She doesn't agree with what's happening. She could turn on him. You know, even though he seems like a grey Jedi, I was calling them both Sith for so long. I mean, she could turn on him because she probably doesn't agree with 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 his his goals and his his outlook on stuff. You know, and maybe the fact that he genuinely seemed um, honest to Sabine about upholding this 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 promise and stuff. I thought maybe she she felt a little bit threatened, like oh, he could take on a new apprentice. You know what I mean? And that's why they were both kind of giving each other daggers in the ship. Like I said, well, or there's unresolved beef there. But, like, you never know. Like, Shin could be looking at her like, you ain't taking my spot, bitch. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. But, like I said, because we don't know that much about them, it, it just leaves it so out in, in the open to, to, to come up with theories and shit on them, you know? But, yeah, Edra's back. I don't think he's going to be happy with the way that Sabine has got there. I think when he learns about the whole, like, destroying the map situation, I think he would agree with Ahsoka. You should have destroyed it. You shouldn't have put your personal feelings first. You should have destroyed it. Thrawn is, is, is a way bigger threat, you know, than him getting back home. You know, that whole thing of... of the many versus the few, you know, like, would you be willing to sacrifice a small handful of people to save millions? I think Ezra would have been willing to do that. So I don't think he's going to be too happy when he finds out. And that the only way that they can go back is with Thrawn. Not that that's going to happen, because, of course, Balin and the Shin are going to turn up. But then Ahsoka is on her way as well. But I wonder, like, because Balin and Shin will be pretty much outnumbered now, could you have Ahsoka... Um, Ezra and Sabine whether it be Morgan or one of these new witch fucking sisters conjure up a, a, another person because there, there was that, that Murak who obviously was, was like magic formed into like a physical being could they create like new new physical beings to fight I don't know that would be really crazy if they did though but man uh, Thrawn Thrawn's back <laughs> Like I said, like I'm, I'm probably like, I think I'm like on, on like four, five chapters into the Thrawn book, and already you can tell like this guy is 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 so cold and calculating. He's he's a real threat. Like I I knew he was a problem, but listening to the because I'm doing it through the um, Audible, I don't have time to sit and read. But li going through this book, he he's he's a problem. His whole demeanor, he's just so cold and calculating. He's just... You know, I do think he will go back. I really think he'll he'll go back and everything he does will be... He'll basically build the foundation for the First Order. I can see it happening. And the whole cloning thing, I, I can see he would be willing to do it and and play his part in it. To bring back the Emperor and, and everything. I, I can really see that all happening. You know, if they if Disney plans to continue to go down this road and, and have these shows leading up to the uh, sequel trilogy, I can definitely see stuff being set up there. And those new Stormtroopers. My God, they look cool. I've, I've always loved the way Stormtroopers look anyway. But these dudes, so battle-worn and damaged and... and, and it looks like they that they've used gold or whatever to kind of fix the armor. Sa same way they've used it to fix the, the the fucking ship, but just with all the red like straps around them and stuff. Like 
Good God. Like, of course they're going to release all those as toys and stuff, you know what I mean? They probably have them in, in production right now as we speak. But the way that they are, like, like, you could make shift your own, no problem, I think. Like, even, like, the cosplayers, like, the 501st, and, you know, they could definitely, like, do their own Stormtrooper armor like that. Easy, easy, no problem. Let's get a normal Stormtrooper outfit, do loads of battle damage and cracks in it paint a few bits gold and put some straps around, like, job done, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. And I'm so glad that they are the original Stormtroopers. Not like they've, they've completely re redesigned the helmet um, while they've been there, you know? But they've actually genuinely just fixed and repaired the, the already existing armor. I think that looks so cool. I mean, how popular Thrawn is and, and how much of a threat he is, you know people are going to make their armor look like that. You know, so they look like they're a part of, like, Thrawn's army. You know, come on, man. I really want to watch the next episode. <laughs> but I'm going to have to wait. <sighs> but two more episodes to go. It's gone by real quick, the last couple of weeks. This episode, real good. Everything to do with Thrawn, those new troopers, everything is amazing. But episode five is still my favorite so far. But then again, like I, I would say like episode four, five, and six have all been solid episodes. You know, like the first few, like I said before, they was establishing like new character, kind of new characters, new situations. So the the episodes felt, felt like they were kind of a bit slower paced, just a bit more like, okay, can we get the ball rolling? Can we, you know? But now that we're in it. Like I said, the last three episodes have been absolutely amazing. So I've got real high hopes for episode seven and eight. I really do. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I'm going to get this edited and get the full length up as soon as I can. But yeah, give this video a thumb up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sif Furian, and I'll catch you in the next one, man.